Hey, how's it going? I got a total of seven flashlights here that I'm going to really quick do a rundown on and show you how bright they are and how much they cost and what you can expect and what my recommendations are if you want a light that punches out there in an incredible amount. Some you can get at stores like Walmart and the other ones you have to order online, but we'll get started here real quick. This first one is an old school flashlight I've had. It's called the MTE. This is the SSC P7. It has the P7 emitter. It says max of 900 lumens, but I guarantee it's nowhere near that bright. But um, I'll be testing that. The Railvac I got at Walmart. This little flashlight uh, surprised the living hell out of me. It's about $13, I think. You can pick them up there. I'm pretty sure that's a Q5 emitter, but they're quite indestructible and then I'm throwing this in this is actually a cheap Walmart flashlight with like eight or nine emitters on it for six bucks but I just want to put that in kind of for comparison then you're looking at a trust fire um, this has the SST 50 emitter in it and it's wicked bright which you'll see but they're quite expensive and they do run through the batteries pretty hard it takes 18 650s the old trusty mag light 4d cell but i got a three watt drop in you can you know try that out and this guy here this is a kinfire runs on four 18 650s and has the t6 emitters in it three of them then there's uh many different brands of this light and i took a gamble when i bought it i actually paid about fifty dollars for it without the charger and the batteries we're going to get to just showing you how bright it is it's very well made a hell of a heat sink in it and whatnot but they range anywhere from say fifty dollars up to over 200 but different manufacturers make them but i'm pretty sure it's pretty close to the same flashlight they rate them at like two thousand lumens and last but not least is the black and decker from Walmart for forty, I think nine dollars. It's ten watt. It's not really a flashlight. It's more of a spotlight. But you'll see what I'm talking about when you see this guy compared to these other lights. So let's get started on the beams. All right, let's get rolling. The first one is going to be that Railvac from Walmart for about thirteen dollars. Right there is uh, forty feet, and then shooting out there to that post that white post is around 80 feet and beyond that there's a tree that's probably about 140 feet away and it's almost lighting that up i mean it's not too bad like i said it's not a real bright light but it runs on 3a batteries and fairly rugged next up we're going to do the ssc uh the p7 with the p7 emitter now this one here you're looking at 40 feet that post out there around 80 feet which it's kind of hard to see and then that tree you can't really see it at a uh, 140 feet but it does have a nice wide beam and stuff like that but that's that p70 emitter run on 18650 now for comparison here is the mag light with a three watt drop in 40 feet there's 80 feet and around 140 feet through that tree and I'm going to go with the cheap one right now. $6 light from Walmart with all them LEDs and a 6-volt lantern. Battery lasts just forever for days on end. But it does kind of shoot out there a little bit at 80 feet. You can kind of see. But now we're going to go into the big hitters. The SST50. Got probably, I don't know, at the time I paid like 70 bucks for it. It runs on two 18650s. But there's 40 feet. And then that 80 foot uh, post and that tree around 140 feet away as you can see this thing is just it's it's wicked and way out there that's at roughly 100 yards probably about 300 feet is another tree and as you can see I mean it does a good job of punching out there beyond that so there's probably 200 yard well I'd say about 150 yards or some more trees and you can still make them out pretty good in the naked eye, but I doubt the camera will. But that's a pretty neat light. And now for that uh, little Kinfire that runs on four of them uh, 18650s and three T6 emitters. 
unreal amount of flood. I mean, 40 feet, looking at uh, 80 feet, and of course the 140 feet away, and the one that's uh, 100 yards away, it's still shining. And you can see the trees behind there. Like I said, them are uh, I, anywhere from right in there, 150 yards on down to 200 yards, that tree line. But if somebody wants to invest in a flashlight that's a damn rocket or a cannon, this thing will do. I mean, it, it's, like I said, they're around 50 bucks for the cheap versions, and you can, you know, spend a lot of money on, on more, but different models, but I'm telling you, they're, they're pretty much the same, and it, I think it's like 2,300 lumens, and battery life is incredible on these things, and it'll run on the low beam, which I haven't showed you that. There's high on low, just low itself. I mean, I've run this for hours night fishing, without having to charge it. Now let's get to that Black & Decker with a 10 watt LED in it. I'm very impressed with this. Uh, I use this <coughs> for shining deer and stuff at night. 40, 80. I mean it easily it easily punches out there. Very tight beam. 140. There's that 100 yard tree. And if you, you look, I mean it is you almost need a spotting scope to be looking at what you would, you know, see farther, but you get a general idea. Now let's uh, just compare these to this uh, just outstanding, these two lights. But uh, that SST-50, I mean that punches out there, it's a very good, good flashlight, but I just don't think it compares to the Black & Decker for sure throw. I mean, it's a, that Black & Decker, of course, is a more of a spotlight, but I mean, you can hold it just the same. And just for comparison, I'm gonna take this uh, mag light with a three watt emitter and that Black & Decker. I would recommend, overall I use this flashlight more than any. I know you can't just stuff it in your pocket, but you can put it in a tackle box or set it beside the car. If you're outside shining at night, say out in a field, and or something, you want to know if there's an animal out there. I mean, you're talking hundreds of yards this thing pushes out there. Just a, a wicked, it'll light a whole field up. It's comical, you know, when people see this, and a lot of people want these when I show them to them, and willing to pay good money. But like I said, I've got batteries, charger, and a flashlight. I probably got about seventy dollars into this thing, and I—it's incredible, very rugged. And <laughs>